Hey guys, in the following tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a blog or a portfolio listing page using the listings block. So with Lovely, we have uh, created, instead of a singular portfolio or blog page, uh, we created listing blocks. As you know, the theme offers uh, multiple blocks to create unique pages. And to display your portfolio galleries or your single blog posts, you will want to use this listing block. And the listing blocks have various layouts and options, uh, giving you lots of flexibility and opportunities to add blog posts or galleries to any page. So to create that, we would go to a page. So let's go to pages and we can go to add new to show you how this works. So for example, maybe I just wanted to create a blog page or in, in this case, it could also be a portfolio page. We can do so by going to the page, labeling it as you would always do. Going to templates, now you have two, a few options for creating pages. You can create a page using a template. So out of the box, you can see that we have listing pages here uh, that will already uh, come with lots of different options for you. So maybe you wanted to use one from the demo and use um, the blocks that are already built on the page. You can do that. So you would select all the options and then apply the template. Or alternatively, you can just build the page in whatever manner you like. So in this case, I know that I would like to have uh, some options for displaying my blog posts or galleries. So I'm gonna use a listing block. So let's just go down and find ourselves the listing blocks. And you can see that there's actually five listing type blocks. So listing one, two, three, four, and five. And again, you can see the different options for those and how they look. One is just the regular list view, a single, single image and a link to the post. The second has a, a specific hover uh, over the image. Third with the image left text right. Uh, the fourth is a grid view and with a hover over the image. And the last listing five is a masonry grid view. So for example, I'm going to use uh, listing four in this case, but again, you can choose any of these options to create your page and you can actually use a combination of blocks if you would like to do that as well to display different options. So I'm going to select listing four and in this case, I would like to remove the WordPress content. I don't need that in this block. And if you don't want a title for the page, uh, you can also click remove the WordPress title. And then to add the uh, posts or the galleries to the page, you can s simply click the edit button, so the little pencil, and then you can choose what you would like to list on this page. So in this case, I want to display blog posts. Do I want a specific category? Uh, you can decide on that as well and choose. Um, there will be no categories here if you have not categorized your blog posts, uh, but if you have, they will display here and you can select only specific categories. If you would like to choose the number of posts per page, maybe it's a grid view with three columns, and then you would like to choose uh, an item that is uh, a number of three, so nine, uh, 12, or 15, for example, you can choose the option. So I'm gonna choose nine. You can go to the specific tab again. Uh, certain blocks will have a specific tab with some options. Uh, in this case, it would be the number of columns, so two, three, or four. I'm gonna keep it at three and if I want to choose the different gaps here between the blocks, uh, you can set that also, um, but it's standard, it's 44 pixels. I'm going to make that 20 pixels in this case. We have an option for the overlay. So as you can see here, there's an overlay option. Uh, do you want to choose a custom color? If yes, enable that and choose the color and the same with the elements. You also have an option for decorative images in most of the uh, listing views. And that is a little decoration that will be above the title. So again, do you want a decoration image or not? Yes or no? You can select those options. And would you like to display categories? Again, each of the listing options will allow you to select these categories. So you can find all of those options in the specific tab. Again, check out each block and what's in the specifics for that and you can see that for yourself. If I wanted to display uh, galleries, for example, all I would have to do is simply select galleries and then I would be able to display galleries on this page. Now, what makes this uh, builder really great and the uh, fantastic thing about our new themes is you can actually add multiple blocks to this page to create something a little more unique. So in this case, I want to show some blog posts at the top 
I want to show only my engagement uh, blogs, blog posts. And below that, I want to show then uh, my wedding blogs, for example. So I'm going to choose a different listing layout. And in, in this case, I'm going to choose a listing type three, for example. And again, I'm going to go in, edit this block. Again, choosing posts. I want to only show uh, three of my wedding uh, blog posts. So I'm going to select that category. And again, you can go to the specifics tab and modify and change any of the options if you would like to show uh, anything different here. Again, I can just go ahead then and publish this page. And then you will see the page with the two different blocks for either your blog posts or for your galleries. So let's just go view that. And again, you can see that we have well, in this case, we only had one engagement gallery, so it's only showing one. And then below, you can see a number of wedding options as well. Now, in the case that you would like to have a, an option to display more posts, so for example, maybe you've chosen nine, I'm just gonna go and edit this page a little bit. I'm gonna remove the second block just so you can see how it works. Uh, and I'm going to remove the category because I wanna display uh, nine posts. Or let's say, let's do, six for example. So I want to add a pagination section so that will be the uh, items below that say previous and next posts. Uh, so because we only showed six per page we would like to give the users the option to go to the second page for example. So I'm going to find the listing pagination block. So let's go down to listing views and then listing pagination. And uh, normally you would add it just below the listing block itself. So here you can see it's previous and next posts. Again, you can go into specific and if there are various options for choosing a different view type, you can add those as well. Here you can see we can have pagination numbers. So do you wanna have a number of pages so they can select the page themselves or not? You can turn that on or off. Again, we recommend going in and checking this, the options yourself just to make sure that you're aware of all the available possibilities. Now, if I was to save this page and show you again, we should be able to see an option just below the page here that gives us an option to go to previous and next posts. So as you can see, we now have two pages. If I go to next posts, we will have the option to go back to the previous post section. So that's it folks, you can plug and play with that. Again, don't feel limited by just adding a listing block. You can add featured blocks, you can add a slideshows to the page, any, any manner of blocks to create a page. But if you simply just wanna create a blog post page or a galleries uh, page, you can do that with the listing block. If you have any questions, just drop us a comment and let us know, thanks.